This is an airplane that can fly forwards and backwards equally well, even though the wings and tail surfaces are the same geometry and the center of gravity of the airplane is exactly in the center. Balance point is right here. If you pick it up, it balances right there. <clears throat> so, how does it work? The normal linearized aerodynamic theory would say that these two lifting surfaces uh, moving one way or the other, at least in the pitch axis, one creates downwash on the other, moves the aerodynamic center of the airplane in a direction that's not favorable for inherent stability if the center of gravity is in the center. So linear theory says this can't work. Similarly for the fins, you've got equal fins, one in front, one behind the CG. There's no reason that should be inherently stable. But by adding a uh, this device here, which is looks like a gurney flap, you can see it only sticks up on the wing surfaces, but on the fin surfaces it goes in both directions. Also, it doesn't uh, cover the control surfaces. But um, what it does is, uh, air coming this way, it acts like a gurney flap, like a like basically produces an up elevator effect on that surface. If the air is coming this way, it acts like a spoiler. And as a spoiler, it reduces the lift curve slope of the surface. So that means with each angle relative to the air, it makes less lift per unit angle moving in this direction. And it makes more lift moving when the, when the airplane's moving this way. And that change in the CL alpha term allows it to become stable in either direction, both laterally and longitudinally. Now, I will show you the control surface motion because it's a bit unusual also. Here's the controls on the airplane. This is pitch. That's pitch up regardless of which direction it's moving. That's pitch down regardless of which direction it moves. This is a left roll and this is a right roll and it doesn't depend on the direction the plane is moving. Now rudder, this is left and right rudder for the aircraft flying uh, with the white wing tips moving forward. And then when I throw a switch, those reverse. So I have one switch on the transmitter, this switch right here, and that decides which direction the plane flies. And when I throw that switch, it changes which motor is running. So right now, you can see that motor runs. And when I throw the switch, then this motor runs. The other one shuts off and vice versa. The switch also reverses the direction of the rudder, but that's it. There's no feedback control. Everything is open loop and the airplane is inherently stable.